Hi folks, this video walks through our new Skyhook mobile lifting cart, how we found it, why we bought it, some of the details and the things we love about it, and how it's gonna be super useful in our machine shop. I've spent over a year trying to solve this problem, which is we needed a way in our shop to lift stuff. It needed to be safe and it needed to be convenient. We started off looking at the sort of walk behind lift truck style systems, but they've got some major drawbacks and are really meant more for lifting things like pallets. We looked at proper bridge cranes, which could be a phenomenal solution, but they're permanent and they would change some of our overhead wiring and our lighting and it's just not in the cards right now. One-off jib cranes would be easier, but they're also permanent, quite large, and generally going to be quite a bit more expensive than the solution that we found. So I was walking around IMTS last month, and I just turned the corner and I saw the Skyhook booth, and I just thought, oh my gosh, is this what I'm thinking it is? And they are phenomenal. It was great to see one in person. I feel very fortunate I just happened to stumble upon them. And I think the reality is for most people, the bench mounted or floor mounted sky hooks are probably a great way to go. And they're certainly less expensive. For us, I wanted for now one solution that would let us safely lift material up into the machines, as well as removing work holding and vices, and even help with things like our Tormach lathe turret if we've got to remove it or align it. So for us, we want this mobile sky hook with the articulating arm. It gives us a huge amount of reach out into the machine, which I really like. It does reduce the normal capacity. Most sky hooks can do about 500 pounds. Uh, ours is only 250, but that's still plenty for what we need. And I like that extra reach. We ordered it. it, took about 10 days to show up. It's largely assembled. There wasn't that much work to do. After installing the grease and installing the chain and sliding things in, we were up and ready to test it out. But first we had to buy the counterweight. So that is one of the trade-offs of the cart system. It's a little bit more money and you've either got to buy their counterweight, which are just the typical 42 pound suitcase or tractor weights. It was cheaper for us to just order some hot rolled steel. I called up my Alro rep and I just explained, hey, we need counterweight steel. What's the you know cheapest, most reasonable, whether it's hot rolled or cast iron, uh, didn't really matter. And they came back with line number five here, which was some two inch by five inch hot rolled steel. We needed 625 pounds. So this was going to be uh, about $567 for a 20 foot stick. We then had them requote that, saw cutting it into 11 pieces to fit in the cart, and it was about $40 more. So a little bit on the high side for the saw cutting and well worth it. We've got a great bandsaw that could cut this, but taking the time to move a 680 pound piece of steel around to make the saw cuts make more sense for it to just show up on a pallet where we can literally pull it off the Alro truck, move it right over to the cart, and we're ready to go. That's a much more efficient use of time. Skyhook has two different models of lifting and then chain and rope. So the economy model, I wasn't a big fan of. There's a break on it and you've got to release that break by hand to lower the part. The premium is, in my opinion, slick, safe, and just much more fun to use. It's literally turn to go up, turn to go down. The chain was fine for us. We didn't have a need to step up to the wire rope version. The four bolts that hold the casters on protruded up. So before we laid before we put that counterweight down, we laser cut a piece of MDF to keep the cart paint nice and to lift the steel up above those cap screws. We did a weight check just to triple check that the math met the paperwork from Alro. And finally, we drilled two holes and put a piece of angle in there just to keep that counterweight secured in place on the far end of the cart where it needs to be. But for me, this was the big question. After we have 680 pounds of counterweight in there, is the cart still easy to move around? And it absolutely is. Yes, you've got some weight there, but the casters are super high quality. The overall build quality is excellent and we'll have no problem being able to wheel this up to machines or manipulate it. A little bit tricky to change directions if you're stopped, so you may want to actually bend down and rotate the wheels, but that's not unreasonable in my opinion. We happen to have an object that worked perfectly to do a load test. You need to load test the cart to make sure it's set up correctly in the counterweight and especially the brake at about 125% of the load limit. So for us, that was about 310 pounds. So we're excited. I think we'll use this, if not every day, certainly multiple times per week. For us making the Saunders Machine Works steel fixture plates. We used to do two-man lifts with those. We had made some handles and that was the safe way to do that. This means we can easily do it. And our model, the A8770, offers over 31 inches of cantilever distance, which is great for our larger machining center so that we can reach all the way out and lift exactly where we want, as well as just position parts and get them in the right place. 
the Skyhook is a little bit too tall for our VF2. And at first I was a little bit bummed about that. And then Jared reminded me, no, we can just take out the extension and convert this back to the standard Skyhook. That's very easy to do. And then your boom clears the inside of the VF2 enclosure. And you can't quite get all the way in, but pretty darn close. And finally, we're going to use this for a lot of other stuff in the shop. Just the other week, we were checking our Tormach turret alignment, and we had to spend a fair amount of time stabilizing the turret to be able to check and move that around. The Skyhook cart will wheel right up to it and allow us to safely and properly arrest that movement so that we can make those sort of adjustments. So, so far, we're really happy. We're really impressed. And for me, it's a wonderful solution to a problem I just couldn't figure out how to solve, which was, what do we do to load these machines? When it first arrived, we threw it up on Facebook and we saw some interesting responses from other folks that already have Skyhooks like this one, where they've got it on a quick change system inside of their machining center to lift really heavy blocks. Nobody wants to lift those. Operator fatigue, hurting your back, love this sort of a setup. And I think in the future, that's probably what we'll do. The cart was $2,600 plus the counterweight, which I have no problem given what we're going to be able to do with it. But what I like is you can pick up some of the other sky hooks that don't have the cart and don't need the counterweight, like the one on the Facebook page for somewhere between a thousand and 1500 bucks. That's awesome. So folks, hope this video was helpful. Hope you learned something. Take care. See you soon.